Hello and welcome, my name is Andrew Peel, and in this video I'm excited to announce the new release for PyClone 2.93. This is a major release for the Home Builder library that's included with PyClone, and for those who are not familiar, Home Builder is a free and open source add-on for Blender that's goal is to provide a streamlined process to create interior designs focused specifically on the process of designing kitchen, bath, and closet spaces for homes. The add-on includes a wide variety of cabinets, appliances, and closet components that easily snap together. After placing assets, you can access the prompt interface in the right-click context menu to adjust cabinet sizes and many other options to customize your design. In this new release, there are almost too many improvements to list them all, so I'll quickly go over some of the big changes. The entire UI has been updated to make navigating assets quicker. You will now find library tabs to access assets specific to kitchen, bath, and closet spaces. The Home Builder sidebar has also been updated to provide you with an easier way to change materials, cabinet fronts, hardware, and a new UI to add parts to the cabinetry. Additionally, there are also new menus added to the 3D viewport that display specific commands for the selected assets. A new library category has been added to assist with the task of designing closets. Since closets are typically very custom, you can add openings to walls, then drop components into openings to create your design. Now this is the first step towards creating features to design custom cabinetry. These types of features are going to be added to the kitchen library soon to give you the same flexibility when designing kitchens and baths. A new category has been added to allow you to save custom cabinets to the library. This is especially helpful to create custom kitchen islands that can be added to your design quickly. This is considered a feature for advanced users, so I'll be creating some tutorials that will teach you how to utilize this feature and begin creating your own categories of custom cabinetry. When drawing walls, dimensions are now displayed, and you have the option to type in exact values of the wall lengths, giving you the ability to accurately generate the room layout. A decoration category has been added to each library, allowing you to quickly place decorative assets in your scene. The free library comes with a collection of example assets that you can use, but the extended asset library gives you an additional 50 high quality assets from iMesh. A special thanks to iMesh, their assets are incredible looking, but if you have your own assets, you can save them to the library as well. Moldings can now be automatically applied to your room and cabinetry. You just select the profiles you want to use, assign them to the appropriate pointer, and run the Add Molding to Room command. After the moldings have been added, you can use the built-in Blender tools to extrude new points and customize your design. Material pointer groups have been added to create different material setups. This is useful when you have different materials in the same room. So if you want, for example, you can now assign a different material for the cabinets on the island versus the cabinets on the wall. The placement of cabinets has also been improved. You can now easily place cabinets next to blind corner cabinets. There's also a new interface to position cabinets on a wall. You have options to bump cabinets to the left or to the right and fill areas with multiple quantities. There are a number of new styles of cabinets available, including blind corner cabinets, different combinations of door and drawer cabinets, and a refrigerator cabinet. Drawer boxes can now be added to the cabinet interiors. To reduce file size, the cabinet interiors are typically empty, but if you want to add drawer boxes, you can now select the drawer fronts and run the add drawer command. If you want to support development and receive hundreds of additional assets that automatically load into the home builder interface, you can purchase the extended asset library exclusively from the Blender market. Every purchase directly goes to funding development for the Home Builder library, and a portion goes directly to Blender to help them improve general Blender features. In this new release, an updated version of the Extended Asset library is also available. There are over 150 additional assets in this release, and if you've already purchased the Extended Asset library, you will automatically get access to the update at no additional cost. If you've purchased the library from my website, then the email you use to check out will automatically have access from the Blender market. Overall, this was a big step towards creating an open source design platform that provides the same professional features as proprietary software. But using open source software gives you the freedom to tailor the functionality of the software to your specific needs. While I'm pleased with this progress in this release, I have even bigger plans for the next one that will be released with Blender 3.0. I will have some video tutorials coming out soon that will walk you through all of the new functionality in more detail by showing you how to design different styles of kitchen and closet layouts. So subscribe to this channel to get access to those videos when they are released. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this, and I'll see you in the next one.